Hello, thanks for watching. In the video you're about to watch, I'm going to show you how you create a user account and then add that user account to the administrators group along with deleting that user account. And we're going to do this both in the command prompt and from PowerShell to show you the difference. I personally recommend PowerShell. It's a more secure way, and I'll call that out in just a second. The commands you're going to see will be listed down below in the description. To get started, we're going to go into the command prompt, which I already have opened on the left-hand side. The command is net user with the user's name. In this case, it's Bob, his password, and the slash add. That little notification I got is because my password is longer than 14 characters, so I just pressed Y and enter. Next is the net is the net local group administrators, Bob add. That adds the Bob account to the administrators group. And with those two commands, the user has been created and added to the administrators group. Now, let's say we wanted to delete that user. You run the net user Bob slash delete command, and that deletes the user that was created. Moving on to PowerShell, two ways that you can create a user in PowerShell, one with a password, one without. Um, to get started without the password, we'll do the new local user, providing the name Bob, or excuse me, providing Bobby and no password. And it shows that user was created. Now, if you want to create a user with a password, this is the best way to do it. We're gonna use a variable, In this case, the variable is going to be P. So we are defining the uh, as secure string and we'll press enter. What this means is everything I type now is hidden behind asterisks. And then that value is stored. And if you wanted to try to read that variable that we just defined, as you can see, it does not return that. Now, if we wanted to do a quick test, let's say, uh, let's call this one in equals uh, this is, oh, we're going to do uh, quotes. I forgot about that. So this is a string for password. And if we were to call that variable, you can clearly see that. So using the as secure string uh, encrypts and hides that particular value. So with that, now we can go ahead and create the new account, Bob, You'll notice after the password, the dash password, I'm defining that dollar sign $p variable where it, we've typed in the password previously. And we press enter and it's created. The last thing to do is add this user into the administrators group. And it's done with the add local group member. And then if we wanted to then delete the user that we just created, you hit, uh, you type in the remove local user and the name you want to remove. And it's that simple. Um, and let's go ahead and also remove the first one, Bobby, that we created as well. And there you have it. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos. If you have any questions, please list them in the comments below. Thank you.